So the next thing we're going to talk about is a, um, so you know what, let's do a plunge turn actually for this particular diameter. Now before we do the plunge turn operation found in the general group here, I most likely want to take advantage of having this tailstock and the reason being is because when I do the plunge turn, I actually want to utilize both directions just to keep my tool engaged into my part here. So what we're going to do here is look at some of the part handling capabilities that we have. So what I'm going to do here under my part handling is I'm going to take the tailstock operation and what you'll notice is that there's an auto setting within this operation here as well as a transferred position. Now remember what I said about the setup. Whenever we done the setup I told it that we were 12 inches away so by using the auto setting Mastercam already sets the 12 inches away where it's located right now and I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer this to zero so we're gonna do it in advance and you'll notice that the tail stock now comes up up against our part and we can now go to our general tab and look at that plunge operation so when I open up the plunge operation it's asking me for a chain and I'm gonna go ahead and say OK and select my chain. I'm going to select my grooving tool to plunge with and I'll give it a comment of plunge turn. And I'm going to go right to my plunge turn rough parameters. Now inside of here I'm going to set my depth of cut for 50 thousandths and maybe my minimum for 20. As you see here I'm going to zig negative as I plunge from the front, I'm going to go back. I can also do a plunge positive and zigzag that way, or do a one way, whether it's positive or negative. But again, zigzag negative. And I'm going to go right to my finished parameters. I'm going to set my tool deflection just for zero at this moment. And you see that I have a stock clearance of 30 thousandths. I got stock leaving behind here and X and Z both at zero and I'm simply going to green check OK. This is a pretty familiar path to me especially when it comes to uh, some of the oil filled products I've dealt with such as flanges with a nut relief that you had to dig out a lot of material there. And if you're curious about what tool to use I would say reach out to your tool vendor uh, whichever tool vendor you, that you prefer to use. I know Samix got some tools for this as well. But here we now have that plunge operation.